Many of the major discoveries always come with luck. It was 1952. Archaeologist Kamel El Malak was supervising the clear up of an area right by the Great Pyramid. This south of the pyramid was completely covered with debris and stone rubble. Then they began to clean the stone rubble. As they were clearing, they found these large slabs of limestone that were very carefully laid. Curious, El Malak bored a small hole through one of them. When this man came and looked inside, he said to me, I did a smell history. He discovered 41 huge limestone blocks, weighing between 17 and 20 tons. They covered a deep pit over 100 feet long. But it was the contents of the pit that excited Egyptologists. It was this huge pile of wood and rope and oars which gave the game away. Why would Khufu bury a ship in the desert beside his pyramid? The answer tells us how the Egyptians saw death and what the pharaoh believed would happen to him. The pyramid would hold his mortal remains, but his soul would leave. It would be transformed. Khufu was a king and a god. So when he died, he became one with the sun god. Ascending to the heavens, the pharaoh would become one with the sun god Ra. Unified, they would make the sun's daily journey across the sky. They would be carried, the Egyptians believed, in a great boat. The idea of doing that made perfect sense to the Egyptians because they saw the path of the boat as being not flying through the sky, but rather traveling on the rivers that surrounded their whole entire world. In Egyptian thinking, this boat had a clear, practical purpose. It would be used in the afterlife. The Khufu boat was intended to carry its master through the heavens. It played a vital religious role, and this is a sign of something else, the fact that boats and water were central to Egyptian life. The Khufu boat is a fabulous testament to the importance of the Nile to the ancient Egyptians. Boats meant the Nile, and the Nile was Egypt. Egyptians relied on the Nile for food, for water, for irrigation, but most of all, they relied on the Nile to move them from place to place. The Nile linked the north and south of Egypt. The Egyptians traded with the outside world via the Nile. It was the wealth the river brought that caused their civilization to grow. The Nile was the most important thing for the Egyptians to make this civilization. And that's why we can say that with the Egyptians, the Nile built ancient Egypt. Treasure. Gold and jewels came from Nubia in the far south. The hard granite which built Egypt's finest monuments traveled hundreds of miles by river from Aswan. Pharaohs sent trading expeditions to the land of Punt, a thousand miles to the south. Boat-based trade bore vast resources into the country and allowed the pharaohs of Egypt to build an empire. The importance of boats to ancient Egyptians is clear from wall art all across the country. But artwork cannot reveal the ingenious techniques they use to build such massive vessels. For archaeologists, the discovery of this real boat, perfectly preserved by the manner of its burial, is like a time capsule. It looked as if the edges of these timbers had just come out of the shipyard and that not a second had passed over the next 4,500 years. Archaeologists can investigate ancient boat building techniques.